Hi, this is the Englishman of EB English Music and welcome to another episode of my Studio Talk vlog. I recently had a meeting with an artist and a producer that I highly respect and he's been in the game for a number of years and recently he's moved down to Cape Town and we were talking about what was lacking in the Cape Town music industry and the one big thing that came up was that there's a lack of effective talent management. Now, there might be a lot of people to, that claim to be managers and that claim to be able to do artist management, but very few of them are doing it effectively. Now, we've heard this adage before, you know, Cape Town has an abundance of talent, but they're lacking a little bit on the business acumen side of things. And that may be true, but I don't think it's going to be true for a very long time. And also on the other side of things, uh, there's been a lot of horror stories of artists being screwed over by by artist managers and managers running away with money and you know booking gigs but then they saying that they book the gig for a certain amount and then the artist gets paid a lot less all of these horror stories have come up that have actually turned Cape Town artists off from actually getting an artist manager but this shouldn't be the case because I do feel that there are people out there that genuinely want to see artists succeed and genuinely want to take on a role of an artist management artist manager rather properly but before we get to before an artist can get a manager here's something that they need to do and that is you need to educate yourself it is vitally important that you educate yourself where the music industry and the music business side of things is concerned. That means knowing all the potential income streams like Samro and Capasso, needle time rights, mechanical rights, performance royalties, all of that. It's vitally important that you get to know that side of things. And then once you've educated yourself, it makes it that much harder that when you do go into a meeting with someone who wants to take on an artist manager role for you that you not that you don't get screwed over this it's less likely to happen now I know I'm an artist myself I'm a creative myself you're thinking you know what I'm a creative I don't really want to uh, you know handle the business side of things I just want to make music can't somebody else handle that and you know that's great in an ideal world but the most effective artist manager and manager or artist and manager relationship that I've seen is when both artist and manager is on the same page. You need to have that kind of relationship where you have a plan, you know where things are going, the both of you, and then it's up to you as an artist to execute your role and the manager to execute theirs. That's vitally important. So, the two things that you need to remember is, as an artist, obviously you need to educate yourself. The manager... That goes without saying that they need to be educated as far as the industry is concerned. Then meet and have a plan, a proposed way forward of how you can take your career as an artist forward and then execute the plan. Very important. And then another successful trait or another important aspect that, that, that determines the success of an artist and manager relationship is that for a manager... They genuinely want to see the artist succeed. They sometimes believe in the artist more than what the artist believes in themselves. That's also vitally important, that they're not just in it for the money, but it is a business. So where does the payment come in? Obviously, a lot of artists starting out, they don't have the funds to just pay a stipend or a monthly sal basic salary to the manager. So a lot of times um, to incentivize you know, the manager, they work on a commission basis. So, as an artist manager, you realize that the more my artist succeeds, the more I succeed as a manager. The more money they make, the more money I make. And the more successful they are, the more successful I am as a manager. So, yes, it's about cultivating that relationship. Yes, it's about genuinely wanting them to succeed, but you have to find the balance between the business side of things. Once you guys can understand that, the artist and the manager, then that breeds a successful relationship. And again, another way in which the Cape Town music industry can grow. I hope 
that I've inspired artists now to look at things differently where management is concerned. And I hope that I've inspired some people who want to get involved in, in the music industry, but they're not artists, they're not creatives, but they're good business people and they want to get involved in the management side of things. I hope that I inspired you to also maybe get into it because our Cape Town music industry needs growth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel youtube.com forward slash Englishman and I look forward to talking to you again on another Studio Talk vlog. Ooh, bet, 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 the Englishman. The Englishman.